Hello! This video will talk about jQuery and just some of the basic things that you're going to do with jQuery. And I've been working on a parse tutorial here that we're going to continue with and you'll need a couple jQuery skills to to make this work. So I thought I would review those in you know a separate video, okay? So anyway, this is jQuery.com and jQuery is a you know, a library that helps you do stuff with JavaScript. They kind of simplify, you know, how you're going to work with JavaScript. Um, it says write less and do more. So, and I think that's pretty accurate. Um, you'll find with jQuery, you'll write a lot less regular JavaScript code and, and you'll be able to get more done. So jQuery is a library and you can download the file and link to it um, yourself or you can link to it from a CDN. That's a content delivery network. And so when you, if you download the file, then you'll be linking to the file that you have, you know, on your hard drive, right? If you link to it on the CDN, then you'll have to have an internet connection and it will get the file off the internet. Linking on the CDN is, is a good idea if you have an internet connection because, um, one, you'll always get the most updated version. <clears throat> you can get the latest one, you know, and you don't have to manage you know, keeping track of those files. And the other thing is, if you link to the CDN and someone else links to the CDN, then you're both loading the same file from the same location and the browser will see that. And if it sees the same file from the same location and you've downloaded it already in your cache, then it won't download it. So actually your pages will load faster because of that. Okay, so let's click on the download button big orange button there and I'm gonna scroll down this page until I get to this line here that says using jQuery with a CDN and they show you two links here I'm gonna get the first link okay so it says script code jQuery.com you know etc right so I'll, I'll copy that and let me go to my page here. So here I have a blank HTML page and I'm using brackets. Um, let's make a simple HTML page. So I'll type in the doc type, HTML, head tag, oops. Um, we probably need the title tag, right? And inside the head tag, we'll paste the script tag that we copied from jQuery, okay? If you're going to upload this file to the internet and run it off the internet, then this is fine. If you're running the file off the desktop, then right here in front of the double slash, you'll need to include HTTP colon, okay? I don't know why they leave that off on the jQuery site because if you're testing locally it doesn't seem to work for me if I don't add that in. So I'll put that in there and then we're ready to go. So uh, let's add the body tag here. So what else are we going to do? So that, that sets up our, our jQuery stuff. How are we going to work with jQuery? Well, what I'm going to do and, and you can do this, you know, other people do this differently. Um, I'm going to create a script tag at the bottom of my page here. And I'm going to include all of my script in this script tag. And the content of my page is going to go up here above this. So nothing will go below this script tag. Okay, this will be all the way at the bottom. It'll be the bottom of the body tag and then the HTML tag. There won't be anything else below this. Okay, let's put a, an HTML comment here. We'll say JavaScript below this line. Okay. And then HTML goes above that line. So all of your code will go up here. Okay. So let's do a simple JavaScript. So one of the things that you'll want to do with JavaScript is you'll want to write text into an element on the page. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with JavaScript, but with this parse example, we're going to be loading data from the internet and when we get that data from the internet we'll want to take it and display the text on the page so what we'll be doing is we'll be setting the content of a tag so the text that falls inside the tag here will come from somewhere else 
and it won't exist on the page, we'll be adding it to the page after the page loads. So let's give this h1 an ID. And one of the key things that you're going to do with JavaScript in order to identify an element on the page that your script is going to work with, you'll need to give it an ID. Okay, so I'll add the ID here. And it's my practice to only use class names with my style sheet. So if I'm styling something, I use a class name. If I'm using JavaScript, I use an ID. So I never use IDs with classes and, you know, I mean, never use IDs with, with CSS. I just use them just with the JavaScript. And you can use class names with JavaScript also, but, you know, for unique elements, I always make an ID, okay? Just as a, as a reminder, IDs should be unique, and you should only use the ID name once per page. It, you can use the ID name more than once per page, like you can physically, you know, type it, but... If you attempt to find the element with JavaScript by its ID name, JavaScript will only find the first element with that ID name, and it will ignore the other ones. So ID names should only be used once, okay? So anyway, we'll give this guy an ID name, and we'll call it like, uh, you know, uh, title, okay? And then what are we going to do? In order to put some text inside this tag, we need to first identify that element. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use jQuery. And this is sort of our standard construction with jQuery. We reference the jQuery library with the dollar sign. So this dollar sign is actually just a variable that you know is representing the function that contains all the code for jQuery. Okay? And so this is a function, and so we can pass that function, you know, values in the parentheses here. And one of the values that you can pass is a string that is a selector, okay? And the selector is, follows the same rules as standard CSS selectors. So, you know, for example, if you wanted to select the title tag here, you would do, you know, the hash mark and title, okay? And that would select this element. And then after you've selected that element, you can call other methods on that selection. So here we're selecting an element, right? I'm making a, a selection. And then afterwards, I'm going to use the dot, and I'll use jQuery's HTML method. So I've selected this element, and then we're going to call the HTML element on that selection. And so this HTML function sets the HTML content, right, which is the, the text that appears between the tags. Okay, so if I wanted maybe the H1 to say, hello world, then I could type hello world here, and it would appear between these tags when our page loads. Okay, let's give that a try. So um, let me open up my page here. I wonder if I can do it like this. Maybe we can just grab it here, and uh, I guess you can't do that. Let's see, let's get... Um, Let's get this page here, and we'll let's we'll just put it in its own tab, and there you can see it says "Hello World," right? So now remember, you know this tag was empty before we began, but when the script runs here after the page loads, the script down here at the bottom runs, and then it populates the tag with the text "Hello World," right? So I'll stop here for now, and then, you know, that's a simple getting started with jQuery, and then I'll do a couple more of these to explain some other concepts, okay? Thanks for watching.